Hey guys, Daredevil Coaster Riders here. Today, I am going to be making a video on what I think Cedar Point is going to look like before the year 2030. And Cedar Point had a great decade for adding new coasters. They added Gatekeeper, Valraven, Steel Vengeance, and Ruger if you want to count as a brand new coaster. And Cedar Point keeps on getting better, bigger, and be becoming a better place for people to visit around the world. And I am going to be predicting, making 15 pred predictions on what I think Cedar Point's going to look like before the year 2030, 10 years. Number one, Gemini is going to be gone before the year 2030 because Gemini has been having a lot of technical issues lately. It's been running one side lately and Cedar Point's maintenance have been having a lot of problems with this ride and I'm pretty sure Gemini is going to be gone before 2030 because aerodynamics is no longer in business and it's really hard for these types of rides, the aeromine trains, to keep operating and it's hard to get certain parts for them and that's why I think Gemini is not going to be here before the year 2030. Number two, Wicked Twister will be removed from Cedar Point's lineup of roller coasters, but it will not be relocated to a different park. So disregard that old rumor that Cedar Point announced a couple of years ago. I think what's going to happen is they're going to scrap this one and they're going to re relocate Dorney Park's um, Impulse Coaster because that's been rumored for all, just a while ago now. and. I think what Cedar Point's going to do is they're going to still do the boardwalk, but they won't relocate on um, this impulse coaster. They'll just scrap it and replace it with something else. Number three, Cedar Creek Mine Ride, Snake River Falls, and the Antique Cars will be gone by 2030, and Frontier Town will never be the same after these rides get the axe because the Cedar Creek Mine Ride hasn't then been that popular lately because since it's been having a lot of maintenance issues and aerodynamics went out of business and it's really hard to maintain this like family coaster. The antique cars because they have two antique cars and they really need only one ant set of antique cars so that's why I think antique cars can leave and the Snake River Falls water rides haven't been that popular anymore and I'm pretty sure Snake River Falls will go since a lot of Cedar Fair Parks have removed their water rides. Number four Cedar Point is going to be building the BNM Flying Coaster, Hyper Flying Coaster, most inversions, longest, fastest, and this will be the last BNM Cedar Point's going to work with for a long time because I think Cedar Point's going to take a break from building BNMs and it's they're going to extend BNM into their other Cedar Fair parks because I think Cedar Point needs to work with other manufacturers since Cedar Point has built a lot of BNMs and I think. The other Cedar Fair parks are going to use BNM to build other more roller coasters in their parks, and I'd like to see Cedar Point use other manufacturers than BNM. Number five, Cedar Point is going to be building a hyper GCI wooden coaster in the Frontier Town with the steel structures GCI announced a while ago, and I think this is a perfect addition for Cedar Point to add before 2030, since Cedar Point's been lacking a wooden coaster, and I think the steel structure wing coast GCI they could do a hyper GCI include a couple of inversions and make it an outdo steel vengeance make it the best coaster in the park or the best coaster in the world this will get placed in the spot of where the antique cars and the Sear Creek mine ride used to stand so they can have a big new roller coaster in frontier town number six Cedar Point will be receiving the Boardwalk Expansion and the SNS Axis Coaster to go on the spot of Wicked Twister before the year 2030 because Cedar Point is going to work with this manufacturer to make a good um, SNS spinning coaster in their lineup of roller coasters before 2030. Number 7 Cedar Point will receive a dark ride before 2030 on the midway section of the park, that building on the arcade. And it will be themed to the Battle of Cedar Point characters, Millennium Force, Top Thrill Dragster, Gatekeeper, Maverick, Val Raven, and Steel Vengeance. And 
it'll be a good hit for the park since the park doesn't have this type of ride and Cedar Fair is trying to add these dark rides to the other parks in the chain like since Canada's Wonderland added Wonder Mountains Guardian and it became very successful put it in the building above the arcade and it'll be a perfect addition before 2030. Number 8 Cedar Point is going to add a new kiddie coaster before 2030. They're going to add something like a kitty hawk in the kids section of the park because it would have been a long time since Cedar Point built a kids coaster since 1999 with Woodstock Express and I think this would be a perfect addition to the kids section of the park because since all the other Cedar Fair parks have this type of ride in their lineup and I think Cedar Point needs this type of ride to have a good collection of kids rides. Number 9. Cedar Point will add a water coaster in Cedar Point Shores to add um, to boost up their collection of slides in the water park and I think Cedar Point's going to get this water coaster because I think Cedar Fair is going to start working with water coasters and adding water coasters to their other parks of the chain and I think this would be a perfect water coaster in Cedar Point's lineup of slides. Number 10. Cedar Point will add a couple of new thrill rides before the year 2030. They'll add a top scan and a mile Mondal spinning ride in their collection of thrill rides because I think Cedar Point needs to add more thrill rides to their collection of thrill rides because it would make Cedar Point have one of the best thrill ride collections in the world and a better park for people to visit and ride thrill rides. Number 11. Cedar Point will add a Mac Power Splash in the spot of Snake River Falls since they would have removed Snake River Falls and they'll have the new water ride and since Cedar Fair has been working with mock rides I'm pretty sure Cedar Point's going to add this type of water ride in their um, lineup and it can be considered a roller coaster which it is and it'll be very successful if Cedar Point adds this type of water attraction in the dry park. Number 12. Cedar Point is going to work with a couple of their roller coasters. They're going to work with Magnum XL 200, replace the trains, maybe replace the track and make it have a better ride experience so it can be one of the best coasters in the park since it's the original hyper coaster in the world. And Rougarou will get the B&M Vest Restraints. I think the Rougarou should have got the B&M Vest Restraints when it was first converted into a floor list since Gatekeeper had it. and. Pretty sure they'll put that type of vest restraint so Rougarou can have a better ride experience. Number 13. Cedar Point will be receiving the Golden Ticket Award for being the best theme park in the world before 2030 because Cedar Point deserves to have this ticket and they're one of the best theme parks in the world. Make it the number one in the world so they can attract more guests and make it a better place. Number 14. Cedar Point will have the 500 foot roller coaster RMC T-Rex and this would be a perfect addition because Cedar Point's been wanting to break the 500 foot roller coaster for a long time and that means they would have broken the 200, 300, 400 and 500 foot roller coaster marks in their theme park world records and it would be perfect to see Cedar Point breaking those four height world records. Number 15 and final. Cedar Point will be home to the most coasters in one park with more than 21 coast more than 20 coasters at one park and they will have the most coasters above 200 feet at one park and by 2030 this park will become a lot more successful become a lot more better how it used to be it'll be able to beat Magic Mountain and other parks around the world and it'll be um, still going on as long as it can thanks for watching Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow the social media if you can. And see you in the next video, which will be Kings Island or Canada's Wonderland before 2030. Peace out.